Something is wrong. We may have to revise our theory of the creation of the universe. Solving the mystery of how life in the universe began has always been the major drive behind cosmology. Physicists, cosmologists, astronomers and researchers alike all come together to try and understand how the universe works and what makes it tick. Theories like the Big Bang were born out of decades of research and a strong desire to solve the mystery of the universe. Thanks to these breakthroughs, we discovered our universe is 13.8 billion years old. But now, a new study has come to light that says otherwise. This new study has made Michio Kaku and other renowned scientists realize we got many things wrong and that our universe is much older than we thought. What is this new study and how does it explain the new age of the universe? Also, what are the implications of this new study to our knowledge of the universe? Join us in this video as we explore Michio Kaku's revelation that our universe is 27 billion years old, not 13.8 billion. For a long time, the Big Bang Theory has been the widely accepted theory explaining how life began. The Big Bang Theory states that all life and matter in the universe were birthed by a Big Bang. In the beginning, Everything was compressed into a very tiny and concentrated point known as the singularity. This point contained infinite density and unimaginable amounts of mass and energy. Scientists believe that the heat and temperature in this singularity must have been far beyond what our human minds can conceive or beyond what we could ever find today. This dense, hot singularity point suddenly exploded and continued expanding to give birth to everything we see in the cosmos today. The theory has helped scientists develop a cosmological model that aligns with most of the observable phenomena we find today. Things like the cosmic microwave background, CMB, dark matter, the expansion of galaxies, and other objects in the universe all fall in line with this theory. While it's easy to think of the Big Bang as an explosion, it's important to note that it was more of an expansion event. It's like how a bubble bursts, releasing its contents, and then rapidly spreading out to fill every space. Ever since the Big Bang, the universe has been expanding. In fact, just a few nanoseconds after the Big Bang, the universe underwent a rapid expansion phase known as inflation. Scientists and physicists like Michio Kaku have explained that this cooling and expansion led to the formation of stars, galaxies, and everything we see today. This expansion theory was first put forth by a physicist named Georges Lemaitre, but it was when another astronomer named Edwin Hubble confirmed it that it became a universally accepted theory. Edwin Hubble observed that galaxies drifted farther away from us in every direction. This was an undeniable sign of an expanding universe. If you're wondering why the universe is expanding, it's all because of dark energy. Dark energy is the mysterious, unseen force that seems to play an important role in our universe. Scientists are still very much engaged in studying this force because so many mysteries surround it. However, Michio Kaku has explained that dark energy is the energy of the Big Bang, and the anti-gravitational force is causing our universe to expand. Another major phenomenon observed in our cosmos that strongly supported the Big Bang and expansion theories is the redshift. As the universe expands, light from distant objects gets shifted into the longer wavelengths at the red end of the spectrum, so these objects appear to emit red light. This is why tools like the James Webb use infrared lighting. It makes finding these distant objects very easy, and you may like to know that the farthest objects are usually those that were part of the early universe. In 2021, scientists developed a model to estimate the exact age of the universe. This model is called the Lambda CDM Concordance Model. The model incorporates cold dark matter, ordinary matter, and a cosmological constant associated with dark energy. Experts like Michio Kaku call it the standard model of the Big Bang because it takes into account the four major observable phenomena in our universe. These are the cosmic microwave background, the large-scale distribution of galaxies, the abundance of elements like hydrogen and helium, and the accelerated expansion of our universe. The Lambda CDM model was a true step up and a major milestone for science and cosmology. Using this model, scientists calculated our universe to be 13.8 billion years old. But then, controversies sprung up within the science community as several things were spotted in the cosmos that seemed to suggest our universe was much older than that. 
One of the first things they noted is that some stars appeared to be older than our universe. Studying stars and galaxies has always been a major way scientists checked and cross-checked the universe's age long before the Lambda CDM model came to light. And so, it was only befitting that the age predicted by this model should be cross-referenced with the actual age of stars and galaxies in the universe. And here's the thing, it didn't check out. Scientists discovered that one star, named Methuselah, is older than our universe. Logically, this shouldn't be possible. So it meant one thing, our calculations were wrong. Methuselah is a star named after a Bible patriarch who was recorded as the longest living man ever. The star is located barely 190 light years from our planet in the Libra constellation. In 2013, the Methuselah's age was calculated to be about 14.3 billion years, about 600 million years older than our universe. Before then, astronomers had even thought it to be 16 billion years old, until advanced technology and in-depth studies came and put the star's age at 14.3 billion years. This star caused a serious disagreement with the postulated age of the Big Bang, because there was no way an object that was created would be older than what that created it. In case you're wondering if the star's calculations are wrong, they aren't. Scientists use the same method in predicting the age of other stars in the cosmos to predict that of Methuselah. This entails observing the star's brightness, spin rate, and temperature. Moreover, there are several other signs to prove Methuselah's age. It is a subgiant star with mostly hydrogen and helium. It doesn't contain iron like our sun. Scientists realized that this unique property meant that the star was formed in the early ages of the universe when only hydrogen and helium dominated the cosmos and iron wasn't yet created. You see, during the early stages of the universe, about a few minutes after the Big Bang, a process called nucleosynthesis took place to form lightweight elements like hydrogen and helium. The extreme conditions at this stage made it very easy for protons and neutrons to merge and form these elements. This is why, till today, hydrogen remains the most abundant element in the universe. Elements like hydrogen and helium were fundamental to the formation of early stars like Methuselah. Other elements like iron were only produced inside the core of these stars and then released through supernova explosions. But more than just the Methuselah star, something else that disagreed disputed that the universe is 13.8 billion years old also came to light. This discovery was brought to light by James Webb, and it caused a major stir in the science community. It was a cluster of galaxies found in a faraway portion of our universe that scientists had previously thought did not exist. To this discovery was so controversial that if not that it came from James Webb, and there were actual images to prove it, no one would have believed it. You see, there are certain things and well-established rules that scientists expect the universe to follow. For instance, the size and structure of objects and constellations in space and the distribution of stellar objects are expected to follow a particular pattern. But this discovery disputed so many established norms in the science community. First, they weren't supposed to exist at all, at least not in that part of the universe. Next is the appearance of these galaxies. They were just too small and too smooth for scientists to understand. Following the universe's expansion law, Objects are supposed to appear larger the farther they are. And so these faraway galaxies were supposed to be extremely large, but instead, they were a lot smaller than some of the galaxies close to our Milky Way. Their smoothness was another issue for scientists. If you take a good look at galaxies in space, you'll find that there is a certain irregularity to them. They never seem to make a clear cutout shape. This happens due to the way galaxies form. But these newly discovered galaxies were very smooth, indicating that they had a lot of time to form properly. Initially, using existing models, scientists could only pinpoint that these galaxies were 400 million years old. But it takes billions of years for galaxies to form properly, and these galaxies were just too perfect to be 400 million years old. They each had just as many stars as our Milky Way, and were unreasonably smooth and small. And so, scientists concluded that these galaxies must be much older than all the ones we've been seeing before and formed long before other galaxies came to be. But then, this raised a major question. If they're much older than the galaxies in the universe, then when did they form? All the other galaxies scientists have been observing so far were birthed after the Big Bang. So could these galaxies be older than the Big Bang? You can imagine the controversy this discovery brought to the science community. Scientists even named them Universe Breakers. 
Even Michio Kaku couldn't keep quiet about it and quickly came to shed light on the issue to the public. As controversial as it seemed, Michio Kaku tried to explain that these six new galaxies didn't actually debunk the Big Bang Theory but only supported it. It turns out he was right after all because it all boils down to our calculations of the universe's age and of course, the mystery behind the Big Bang. A new theory has been invented in the science community that will put these controversies to rest once and for all and perhaps give us a hint of what happened before the Big Bang or why the Big Bang happened at all. Scientists have always been interested in going back to what or how things were before the dawn of time itself. Even profound experts like Michio Kaku have once asked questions like, why did the universe bang? Or what set off the Big Bang? Perhaps this theory could explain things better for all of us. Now, a new study conducted by a physicist from the University of Ottawa named Rajendra Gupta has been released. This study claims that our universe is not 13.8 billion years old, but actually 27 billion years old. In other words, Rajendra Gupta implies that the universe is twice as old as we thought. Now the big question is, how did he arrive at this conclusion? Well, he did this by taking a step away from the conventional model used in cosmology and using his own model instead. While Gupta's model is new, it's still based on fundamental theories. One of the major points in this study is that scientists have been misinterpreting the redshift light received from distant objects and galaxies. Remember that redshift is the phenomenon we use to estimate how fast an object moves away from us and how far away it is. This shift also lets us know how much time has elapsed since the dawn of the universe for the object to get to where it is now. For long, scientists have only related redshift to distance and expansion, but Gupta's study suggests that the loss of light energy can also cause redshift as it travels across the universe. This idea is not new. It was first proposed in 1929 by a Swiss astronomer named Fritz Zwicky. He called it the tired light theory. The theory states that the redshift of observable light from faraway galaxies is due to the gradual loss of energy by light photons over vast distances in the cosmos. However, at the time, this theory was rejected by most people in the science community because it contradicted quite a number of predictions and observations in the standard model of cosmology. But this new research says that this once rejected theory is what we've always needed to perfect the famous Big Bang Theory. Furthermore, Gupta also claims that there is another condition or theory we've been missing out on that creates a strong bond between the tired light theory and the current cosmological model. This condition or theory is that the fundamental rules that control the properties and interactions of space particles change over time. This second idea is also not new. It was proposed in 1937 by a British physicist named Paul Dirac. It is called the varying constants hypothesis. Simply put, this hypothesis states that some of the variables and constants we use to measure the strength of forces and the masses of particles slowly change over time. In other words, the values of these constants may reduce or increase as the case may be. Scientists never see things this way, which is why values of things like the gravitational constant have remained the same ever since it was first determined. It's the norm in the science community that once a constant is established, it is assumed that it never changes. And so, this theory, just like the first, didn't get widespread acceptance. However, Gupta has successfully combined these two theories to develop a new model that not only provides a more acceptable age of our universe, but also has the potential to explain most of the puzzles and mysteries found in the cosmos. For instance, the recently discovered cluster of galaxies we talked about earlier can be easily factored into this model. Since the model dates the universe back to 27 billion years ago, it accounts for the existence of stars and galaxies that seem older than the universe in regards to the conventional model. The model can also explain why some galaxies are smaller than we expect in telescopes. These galaxies have had their masses reduced due to the loss of light energy, as explained by the tired light theory. One final thing that Gupta's theory postulates is the replacement of the cosmological constant in the Lambda CDM model. Gupta suggests instead the use of a new varying constant that can actively be used to calculate the age of the universe or the objects in it. The 27 billion years value he arrived at was done using this new varying constant, which is consistent with his model. Although it's still a thing of debate in the science community, some renowned experts like Michio Kaku have confessed to the profoundness of this new theory by Gupta. 
but research is still going on to test this theory and see if it can indeed put together all the missing and mysterious pieces of the puzzle. One such mysterious piece is knowing what happened before the Big Bang. You see, there's a chance that the universe's Big Bang wasn't actually the beginning of everything but a secondary event that occurred after an initial universe. If this is the case, the universe may have already been a few billion years old before the Big Bang happened 13 billion years ago. But this is just an assumption. For all we know, the previous model may have been entirely wrong, and maybe the Big Bang happened 27 billion years ago. This is the controversy now in the science community. Many astronomers and physicists like Michio Kaku have accepted the possibility of our universe being 27 billion years old, but now they need to verify if the Big Bang happened 27 billion years ago or if it was just a secondary phase of a much older universe. Nevertheless, if this theory is verified and replaces the Lambda CDM, it will totally change our perspective of the universe. Many of our established theories and models will have to be revisited and updated, especially since they were based on the assumption that the universe is 13.8 billion years old. We'd also have to reinvestigate some mysteries and forsaken hypotheses like the multiverse theory and the theory of the Big Rip. The multiverse theory assumes that many parallel universes lie beyond our observable universe, each with its own laws of physics and associated space, time, matter, and energy. The Big Rip theory, on the other hand, is a theory that assumes that as the universe keeps expanding, it will reach a breaking point where it can no longer contain the force and will rip apart. Certainly, whatever has a beginning has an end and scientists are seriously working on possible theories that would help us know how our world will end. It's been verified that dark energy will have a huge part to play since it's the basic force behind the universe's expansion so far. But now, with this new model from Gupta, it seems we may have to re-examine and see just how the universe will end, or if it will end at all. Remember, there's still so much about the cosmos that we don't know. So far, over the last few decades, we've been putting pieces together to solve the grand puzzle. Scientists are trying to leave no stone unturned in discovering how and why the Big Bang happened, or if it did happen at all. Experts like Michio Kaku believe we may have to journey even further back to before the Big Bang. Otherwise, we may never find out the real truths about our universe and how it will end. Finding and studying dark energy has been a core desire for scientists like Michio Kaku, but now that Gupta has proved dark energy is not a constant variable, it transforms our range of possibilities. Perhaps the universe may stop expanding at some point and the big rip never happens. Or perhaps everything in the universe will reverse or collapse back into a singularity. These are just a few of the many questions and theories that will be affected by this new theory. This is why scientists must dig deep into it and try to at least use it to test several aspects of our observable universe before passing it along as a fundamental law of cosmology. At this point, we can't say that this new theory will transform the scientific community, but things like these indicate that there is still so much we don't know about our universe and that powerful forces are at play. Thank you for watching another episode of Voyager. While you are here, click the video on your screen to see more mind-blowing videos like this one.